better future. Government has given a three-week ultimatum to settlers who have encroached on various forest reserves countrywide. Green Economy and Environment Minister Colin Zinzovo says forest reserves have been tempered with by illegal settlers who mostly engage in massive tree cutting for charcoal production. Mr. Zovo said this when he toured Shibuyunji and Mumba districts to understand key challenges and impacts of forest degradation on the environment. The minister said traditional leaders must work with government in safeguarding forest reserves instead of indiscriminate allocation of land in the areas. And Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF Country Director Nachila Lankombo, Growth and Prosperity, Sarah Bloom, placed to support Zambia in funding alternative activities for those engaged in deforestation. Mary Mwekesa has this report. Engaged in an illegal undertaking, this is a charcoal producer in Kapianga in the Mumba Game Management Area, a protected space and national park. Green Economy and Environment Minister Collins Nzovu is not happy and has issued a warning. We need to warn them very strictly that the next time we come here, we'll arrest you. That's what the law says. These are illegal. Make no mistake about it. I'm a politician, yes, and I want the, the votes. And the, thank you very much. We got to vote here. <laughs> they are legal ways of doing business. We will not support illegalities just because you voted for us. Zambia is ranked number one in Africa and number five in the world in deforestation. In a quest to find solutions, Minister of Green Economy and Environment, Collins Nzovu, and key stakeholders undertook a tour of Shibuyunji and Mumba districts. To teach you how to live in a more sustainable manner. Really? So you need to form your own cooperatives. This is a problem not just for the people here, but for the whole country as well. We need a whole of society approach to limit the cutting down of trees because this means we are burning our country, it means we are burning our future. But those engaged in charcoal production have their reasons. We have nothing, completely nothing. So family, we have a lot of families behind us. That's why we are doing so. The government is however alive to this and has brought various stakeholders on board to find sustainable solutions. So we're ready to work with you and look forward to hearing from you where exactly you want us to help. We have put together alternative solutions as Zanako to say this is how we can partner with you and make a difference so that you, you can go into beekeeping, you can go into alternative agriculture. Forest degradation, if not firmly handled, can lead to numerous climate